Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. I am Elliot. I'm Jonathan. And, uh, <laughs> fuck you, Matt. <laughs> we are the Super Gamer Brothers. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beginning of the Metroid series for this Super Gamer Brothers Let's Play channel. So, what made you want to go to the Metroid series now? I love Metroid. Oh, oh, oh who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Who, 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 yeah, our argument's invalid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we yeah we just yeah. went through that a couple of seconds ago. That ass. That ass. That's actually that's actually, <laughs> that's actually no joke. Very true. Yeah, she was raised by the Chozo. Well, um, where where wait wait John? What's up? Where does Metroid keep all his missiles? Oh my god! <laughs> I like it. This was if you were born in the eighty. In the mateys, in the eighties when this game came, in the mateys, horror mateys. If you were born, if you were around the time this game first came out, and you didn't read the manual, you can probably get away with saying that. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, we're not really spoiling anything at this point. Where no, we're not actually controlling a male cyborg of any sort. No, this is it's, actually it's a female. A Samus, a Aaron. female bounty hunter. Samus Aaron. Very true. <laughs> okay, who will win a fight? Lara Croft or Samus? Samus. Uh, zero at suit Samus. 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 Right. Anyway, so how, how exactly do you change so missile to woman, missiles? Woman uh, no, I wouldn't say half woman half bird. She, she's, she's, she's all human. She's, she's very she's much all, all she, woman. Yeah, but 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 Chozo, Chozo how, traits. What? Yeah, well, she has so, the Chozo so, blood inside her gives her, like I said earlier, superhuman strength and agility. It'll be very powerful, and yes, she will start her. Uh, I'm a, I'm, uh, I'm a call. <laughs> but uh, bird fact, actually, there's a, there's a higher population of plastic flamingos than actual flamingos. Sabbath <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> home with the, with the flamingo people. And in Australia, and in Australia, there was there was a war known as the Great Emu War. So, um, John, what what got you into Metroid, really? My uncle. Just like every story. Yeah. Every single story <laughs> you, you tell. You gotta understand. Every like, story that you tell before me. Before you were born, before, uh, you know, before all that jazz, the only person that really had all the games and systems was my uncle. And we did, we kind of lived together for eight years. Every, you know, so like, every a, story that you got to games from the 80s, it's always uncle. 80s and early 90s. Yes. Was my uncle. He introduced me to a lot of things. Metroid. Uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Zelda. All that shit. You know, I have a lot to thank for it. You know, I saw him play this game in particular quite a number of times. I had no idea what the hell he was playing at first, but, you know, <laughs> then in 94, when he finally got Super Metroid, that was my chance to finally play the game, you know, and it, 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 Super Metroid to me is a gateway game. It's a gateway game, Super Metroid. It's a game that you love so much that it gets you curious about the older games in the series, and that's what Super Metroid did for me, so I ended up playing Metroid 1. I had an enjoyable time, but I wouldn't recommend it to the players of today. So, Super Metroid is considered your, your favorite? Met Super Metroid is my favorite Metroid game, yes. By the way, Samus, when she rolls up with a morph ball, I usually think she's doing herself like Sonic. It's never been explained how exactly the morph ball works, and Metroid Prime actually likes to put... Metroid Prime actually pokes fun at that, which I love. One of the scan logs you can read is the space pirates are trying to reverse engineer her uh, her weapons and her techniques, and they, they try to morph ball prototype, but all the test subjects end up horribly mangled. And <laughs> twisted. Yeah, but uh, I love that. But no, the way the Prime series kind of handles it is that she becomes this glowing energy in the center of the ball. Samus, well, the reason why Samus was infused with Chozo blood to begin with is because uh, a, long time ago, a long time ago, her her colony, because she's, she's actually from Earth, I believe. Yes, she is. Uh, was attacked by space pirates. Her family, her mother died. and father, died by the hands of Ridley. And since the leader then, of the space pirates. Leader of the space pirates, yes. Not the leader of the space pirates is a pterodactyl. They <laughs> hey, 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 space pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do, we, do we ever see a space whale in this in this LP? No. Oh, I want to... No, he's a space ghost. <laughs> coast to coast. <laughs> I, I, I actually heard this. If you actually look closely at the moon, you actually you actually do get to see a whale. <laughs> you get to see Fanter. <laughs> you actually do get to see a whale on the moon. So since ch so since childhood, she was raised by the Chozo to be a warrior. Some women say they were raised by wolves. Truly, truly a badass. Could you imagine him having to beat her? <laughs> 
Okay, Samus, here it goes. <laughs> no, 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 you have to, you have, no, you have to, be, you have to, you have to do it in their language. Like, ah, ah, ah. We never actually did hear. We never actually do hear Chozo speak in any of these games. Yeah. But again, the only reason why I'm doing, why I'm getting the various suit upgrade this way is because it's faster for me. Yes. If you want to wait, if you want to wait to, to, to get the various suit the legitimate way, these, uh, this floor right here can be shot with uh, projectiles. You could break through. You have the high jump, and you jump to the door easily. That's how you're supposed to get this legitimately. But since, you know, it's right here and I know how to get it early, I'm gonna go get it early. I thought it was gonna be, since I'm a douche, I'm just gonna get it right now. It's, I, I, there are a lot of things that really, that look really awkward. Because, you know, I'm so used to the other Metroid games about Samus' design here. First off, her head is fucking huge in this game. The helmet, yeah, the helmet looks completely <laughs> separate. It looks like she's wearing, like, an upper football helmet. The very thing makes her look naked. It looks like she's wearing knee pads with uh, orange gym socks. <laughs> <laughs> So, did we really get the very suit, or did we really get some gym clothes? I don't know. Gym clothes? I say gym clothes. There are four endings total, depending on how you do it. The, you... the worst is when she gets eaten by Metroid, yeah. the second worst is when she's eaten by Ridley. <laughs> okay, five. Game over is one of them. <laughs> uh, the first one is, if you take too long at the end of the game, Samus will kneel her head in shame, saying that you took way too long. The second... You're too slow! Yeah, the second one is pretty much she waves at you, saying, you know, good job third ending is when she removes her armor and you, that's when you're supposed to find out that she's actually a girl mm -hmm. she's wearing a leotard and the fourth ending is something you can only get if you beat the game while using the Justin Bailey code where she does the same thing as the third ending when she's in a bikini okay I won't be showing off the ending because obviously I'm not using the Justin Bailey code so wait, what's the code called again punk rock Samus what, I guess the name of the yeah. password or the, the, the suit the password Justin Bailey so why is it called that some guy named Justin Bailey there, there's no explanation for it <laughs> There are rumors saying that what she's wearing is a Bailey, so the password means that she's just in Bailey. Well, what's a Bailey? I don't know, some kind of soup. <laughs> no, I don't know. Soup? <laughs> soup? <laughs> she, she's wearing soup in space. She will survive. Uh, Bailey makes Irish cream? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. Bailey? I don't know what the origin of the code is. I don't know why it works. But it well, all we got here is a woman dressed, a woman clucking like a chicken. Anyway, so, so how many other areas do we have? Well, we have Crate next, which we're doing for uh, next. I'll more on that next part. Then we have uh, Norfair to explore. Then we have Ridley. That's the name of the area. Yes. Or at least the name of the area and the boss. Yes. He's full of himself. Very much. So space pterodactyl. <laughs> so wait, what's Crate then? A, a, a fat, Crate is a cleaning service. A fat space crocodile. I don't know what Crate's supposed to be. I, I think he's a fat space crocodile. He is pretty much a space Godzilla. He has bitch tits. Bitch tick space Godzilla. <laughs> space Godzilla? No, there's already a space Godzilla. Not in this world. No, there is a space Godzilla in general. Yeah, there is a. In the Godzilla universe, there's a space Godzilla. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he was in Godzilla versus Space Godzilla! Hence the name. <laughs> he had giant ass crystals on his back! Was Is there a Cthulhu Godzilla? Cosmic what? Horror Godzilla? I don't know. Uh, Dude, all those faces. Uh, YouTube compression. I love you. <laughs> what the hell is that? That is, uh, anime. That's a, he's a googly-eyed son of a bitch. Okay, so how exactly do you switch from your beam to missiles? Select. Of course. It looks like you're in yellow rice down there. <laughs> <laughs> Help, Samus, and then Samus was eaten by Zebeth cheese. I never liked Fran treat. I never liked yellow, I never liked yellow rice. I, I preferred, I, it, I preferred white rice or orange rice. Or uh, red. Either one of those is fine, but I never liked the yellow rice. Red rice? Red rice? <laughs> yeah, you know when you put sason in, in white rice? Sason? Sason. God, you're white. <laughs> 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 Alright, so what's swason or whatever? Sason! So, <laughs> so what's wax on? There's no U, there's no U in it, Matt. <laughs> How can I say? I'm whiter than, I'm sorry, Holmes, I'm whiter than Weird Al Yankovic. What do you want out of me? I thought you were going to say you're whiter than mayonnaise. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Weird Al. So do I, what's your point? There's no score either. No. Metro's never had score. That'd be some weird shit. <laughs> Ten points! Great, now not only do I have to speedrun, but I have to get the higher score too. <laughs> <laughs> it affects your ending. Yeah, if you actually yeah, if you sequence break you either leaning towards standing. Where Gumpa Yokoi shuns the finger at you and calls you a cheater. <laughs> you dirty cheater! Ha <laughs> ha You dirty cheater! Ha ha ha! Why you no doctor? Dad, I'm 12. You go back with you, doctor! <laughs> there is actually two crates in this area. 
There's uh, a fake crate, and there's the real crate. The fake crate has a different color, and it goes out really easily with, like, one missile. Wow. But, you know, it's meant to fake you out, but for the sake of this LP, and just to get things moving along, I won't be showing it off because there's really no point to them. It's not the real thing, anyway. I, I thought you were going to say we're going to find crates torture chamber. <laughs> you seem like a fan of S&M. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, it ain't the S&M. He just loves to torture his victims. He, he, the problem he is, though, is that he's kind of big for it, you know? He, he like, takes out one of the arms from his stomach. He's like, rawr, <laughs> rawr. <laughs> and and, so and, and, he, and he's crate. forcing you to like it. So we won't be showing off fake crate. We're just going to get things moving along. Yeah, we're gonna show off the real crate, except yeah. of substitutions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, here, here's something. If you were to, like, if you were to do S and M with a dog, just blindfold it. Why would you do S and M with a dog, Elliot, Elliot? Where are you going with this? I'm just thing? Saying, Can I'm, I stop He's you going right to there? a dog. He's going to Hot Topic. Whether that's what it is. <laughs> Spencer, let me, let, me Spencer just stop, just, let me just stop you right there. Just, just let's not, let's, let's not question it. Just don't. You brought it up. Don't question it. Just. Elliot, I, the only thing I'm questioning is what the hell you're gonna do in your adult life, and we probably should get you some help. Dude, check out the Fr fucking Friends Hospital. That helps. Are you getting molested at Friends Hospital? To think about dog or something. Elliot, it, it, <laughs> Elliot, remember what Sonic says: if somebody touches you in your porn parts, that's not okay. That's no good. Christ, you always get that wrong. <laughs> You're a I bad, can't paraphrase. You're, you're no good, Matt. You're, you're, you're no good. You're, you're a bad nerd, Matt. <laughs> I am a terrible nerd. I don't care. <laughs> How dare I have a college degree? <laughs> How dare I have a college degree and waste it on Sonic trivia? <laughs> <laughs> what am I to do with an English degree? What the fuck's up there? What am I to do with an English degree? Flip burgers. Yeah. And read poetry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can actually, you can actually narrate. You can, you can narrate every burger you flip. For in my life, I had not one. All I could yell was "Ding fries done." <laughs> I, I then, I then heard, I then heard the cashier. We need a number five. <laughs> and so I told him, "Okay, I'll get your number five. Anyway, quick, uh, quick tip or a trick. You can use to your advantage for guys. Actually, we'll be Press A to jump. We'll be showing it off later for the sake of getting a missile expansion. Uh, here's a question: Do you get the screw attack? Yeah, screw attack. Screw attack. Screw attack. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just wanted to bring that up. Screw attack. I know. I'm, I'm the one that wrote those reviews. Yeah, I know. Who who doesn't know that? Who doesn't know that you write the reviews and, do, and does the gameplay footage? That one who odd fan know that who do thinks all the you did it. For your reviews. That one odd fan who thinks either you did it or I did it. There's always one. <laughs> you edit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> There's always that one fan. The people would generally tell you to wait until you get the screw attack to make short work of him, but, you know, fuck that. Bombs really do a number on him. Booyah. Great is defeated. Yeah, bombs do a number on him after you did a number on yourself. Well, I have confidence enough that I'll win. Anyway, but we're you not You just done. only won the War of Attrition, that's we're it. We're not done yet. There's an energy tank right there. I'm Ooh. actually going to use that bomb jump I told you about. Oh, the, By the uh, way, folks, if yeah, in case you've been living under a rock for the past 29 years, Samus blows up every planet she's been at, so... Not true. Uh, Talon 4 hasn't detonated yet from Metroid Prime. Yet. Planet Aether didn't detonate. It was yet. close, damn it. It was real close. <laughs> the keyword um, is also yet. Brio didn't detonate. Yet. Uh, Elysia... Uh, no, Elis... Elysia? Elis Elysia, I think that's the name of the other Elysia. planet. Elysia. Didn't Elysia. detonate. Uh, the other planet, what was the name of the other planet? Brio, uh, and Brio. No, and Brio. <laughs> <laughs> I bitch blew up my home world. Now I gotta go to Australia with Cortex. <laughs> Sp no. Space Australia? Space, Al Space Australia? <laughs> Space Australia. Or will we, will we ever go to Space Australia in Metroid? We will never know. We are now in Norfair, ladies and gentlemen. Where the place look? Where the place has some decency to try to look like lava. <laughs> Considerably easier to navigate than Kraid, but the enemies here pack more of a punch. So, we're surrounded by deadly ragu. Yes. <laughs> so and it ain't the, the meat variety. Uh, Although you probably find some meat leftovers in there. No, the, it's, a, for the, it's, a, it's, the, it's the chunky tomato variety. I don't like that one. I don't know. A little uh, chunk of my tomato is a good thing. I don't, I don't, like I don't, I don't really like that. I like, I like it with the meat. I used to oh, hate I tomatoes. Don't like, I don't like raw tomatoes. I used to hate that too, and then lately, this past year, I've been loving them in my food. I just don't like tomatoes in general. You like ketchup? Yeah, I know. That's tomato, tomato. That's tomato. But I don't, here's here's another thing. I don't like I don't like carrots when it's mush when it's mushy. You don't like carrots when they're mushy? Yeah, I just like them solid, just plain old carrots, okay. baby carrots. Hey Johnny, off the mic moment. 
When Elliot just there said that, no, he's learned no the tomatoes. There are the mic moments oh, sorry. in the close comments. You want me to edit out dead air, man? Sorry. <laughs> no, what I was saying, that was... I, don't know, I wonder if you're going to insert like a shot where Elliot learns that tomato, that ketchup is actually on tomatoes, and then like just go, boom. Realization. Yeah. <laughs> and then another head... And then another slicer's head boom. Or splicer's head boom. So so we could get a Ridley from Norfair? Yes. You have to. Okay. Much. I'm just hearing. I thought you said Ridley. Ridley? Ridley? <laughs> I had to admit when I heard at the very Ridley first. Ridley is the Samus. That sounds like Scooby Doo say Italy. <laughs> Ridley. <laughs> Welcome to Ridley. <laughs> well, my friends were playing Super Metroid, and I was completely out the loop. I thought I first thought I said Wrigley. I was like the gum. <laughs> <laughs> Double the pleasure, Samus. Double the fun. <laughs> no one ever pays me in gum. <laughs> 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 Depressed Samus. <laughs> no, she right. finally gets a stick of... No, she, Johnny, she gets a stick of gum. She can't open the spacesuit. <laughs> Wait, what about Goodyear? Goodyear's tires. Well, well Goodyear he, does have the wing symbol. Yeah, right? but that's for a, a wing on tires, not a wing on boots. Yeah. Totally oh, oh, it was a tire? That would defeat no, the purpose. I, no, I just it was a shoe on Goodyear. No. no. Goodyear's tires. <laughs> Johnny, could that, uh, that would have completely defeated the purpose of Goodyear, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're a tire company. We suggest you walk around everywhere. <laughs> kind of like saying avoid our brand, ain't it? <laughs> so wait, why is it called Goodyear then? Because it was a good year when it came out. Yeah, I guess. Someone was uh, testing that. We, we, need a, we need another... Uh, we need the name of our tire manufacturer company. Boss, what do you think? Uh, good year. Uh, okay, what is it? <laughs> the boss was spent... The boss was toasted off no, his ass he, when he came he up with the company. He was, he was testing no. his wine. <laughs> the fuck wine testing? I think it was I, a bit stoned. I was, no, I was gonna blasted. Say, no, I was thinking, you know when the Atari 2600 came out? That was a good year. Good year. <laughs> And then, and then the guy came with the realization, Oh my god! Atari 2600? I should manufacture tires! Wait, that's brilliant! Johnny. R right. And then halfway around the- And then halfway across the room, somebody stumbled their toe in front of Miyamoto. Oh, fuck! Oh, what the fuck you say? We were introduced to them in World- Fuck! World Fuck! Yeah, we were introduced to World- I should make a sequel to Mario 2. But take a game that I made here, Take a game that was good and make it so unplayably hard it's gonna shoot ourselves in the foot! <laughs> that would really sell! <laughs> and then make the actual Mario 2 in Japan only! Because we know those Americans can't take that! Those silly Americans! <laughs> I turned in French. <laughs> Missile pack. Oh yeah, Metroid. Metroids were created by Chozo as some, I think as a weapon or I'm not sure exactly what Metroid Probably a science project goof. <laughs> Hey, yo, like, Bob. I, no, hey, yo, Bobby Bird, check this shit out. <laughs> Look what I made. I made, no, a, little, I I made like, a little jelly with bags. What are you going to call it? Uh, Metroid? Ooh, you're too ready. I, I was thinking it was like... Pompous. I thought it was something like this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have a bad trick. They're birds, not chicken. Bird, a chicken is a bird. Yeah, but they're birds. They, they're not chickens. Chicken is a bird. Yeah, but they're not chickens, though. <laughs> they don't buck, they chipe. <laughs> <laughs> They don't cluck, they chirp. They chirp and clucking. Imagine that, the Chozo are like huge. Like You can actually see what they look like in Metroid Prime 2. I have a better but idea. Then, but then like, when you when they talk, they chirp. Like, I like tiny chirps. Oh, yeah. uh, we go. <laughs> anyway. I, I, don't, I can only imagine the bad luck you'd have if a Chozo shot on your car. <laughs> it's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's on your jacket. If it's a car, it's bad luck. Sponsor match. Sponsor match. Sponsor match. Wait, imagine that, they're flying. And it actually crushes the car. Uh, uh, Chozo sure would crush my car. Oh, damn, Chozo! Now, here's a question. What's up? Does Mother Brain look like... No. Okay. I already know exactly what you're okay. saying. No. Yeah, Mother Brain does not look like Beatrice Arthur. Is that... Uh, what? Matt, she's <laughs> dead. And she looks hey. nothing like the <laughs> Mother Brain and Captain N. <laughs> Wait, who, who is that? B. Arthur. Oh. Damn. What's well, your B. Arthur impersonation? I can't do a B. Arthur impersonation. I can. Can you? Yeah. Do it. How do you like it? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Same goddamn joke. <laughs> stir whip, stir whip, 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 That's stir. not B. Arthur. I know that's not B. Arthur. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing that. Damn. Anyway, what did we find now? Fuck. Oh, yeah, she can't forgot. even crouch. She can't crouch? She can't crouch. Oh. Crouch? She can't crouch. <laughs> How do I crouch? <laughs> <laughs> What is this yellow stuff flowing from my midsection? <laughs> is this the result of crotching? <laughs> I think that's gas. Damn. 
Press down the crotch. Here, here's, here's a question. Does she? Does she? Here's a question. Does she have a bathroom in the suit? Well, I hope so. <laughs> yes, <she does. laughs> this suit has a bathroom and beast. Would I use it? Really? A lot of people ask me. A lot of people ask me how do I go in the bathroom in the suit. I do Just now. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. It beats every time I use it. Really? <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Here we go. And this is another item room. Okay. This is uh, where we get the staple of the Metroid series, except for Metroid Prime. Oh, this we're, seriously we're, looks the, the same thing. We're getting a stapler. We're getting a staple of a Metroid. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 the the screw attack. Screw attack. Yeah. That's Yay. what I said. <laughs> You know, it looks like it just went right up your butt. I like to know the. We questioned the morph ball earlier. What does Samus see when she's in morph ball? Mode? Her vagina. <laughs> We've already made that joke, Matt. I'm being uh, serious. What and I'm being serious too. It's got to be her vagina. What else could you see? She's, well, she's how saying, did you know where to go? Well, wait, how, wait. How, here's a question. How does if you're she, in a ball, you can only go forward or well, backward. Here's a, here's a question though. If she were to see her vagina in morph ball, would she have X-ray then? Would she have the X-ray visor? Oh, you. <laughs> She wouldn't see her vagina, she would see the cock piece. Cock piece? You say cock piece? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm doing down there. So that's why nobody knew she was a girl. The <laughs> <laughs> it's a cod piece. Is it the same thing? No. No. C O D C O C K. There's a difference. I never knew. I always thought it was like that. No. I, mean, I hate to take you. Said. Hey, if Ellie goes fishing in an airy lake filled with cod, he's going to be completely surprised. Uh. <laughs> And what? Tomatoes? I would I would say eight balls. Eight, eight balls are black, dude. These are like three balls. Olives. Okay. Olives are red. Greek olives. Greek olives. Oh, okay. Come on, I that too. They have they have <laughs> pins in them. <laughs> they have pins in them. <laughs> 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 or a gross, a gross. It's 144 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> It's the pets, man. Ellie, <laughs> would you like to join us for Pokemon? I haven't been in a Pokemon game. You don't have to beat it. You can be with us. Technically, Matt never Well, I can Metroid. still be a part of it. <laughs> you so. guys never beat Metroid. What the fuck are you guys doing? I beat in Zero Mission and Fusion. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> I beat in Zero Mission and Fusion, man. Yeah, and I was here when Metroid blew up the planet. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Item room, what are we getting? Beach Wave ball. beam. Sweet. So basically, Savas always does the wave and then just blasts them with the gun. Wave beam is the <laughs> cross chop. <laughs> wave beam, oh, wave beam. Wave beam is the most powerful beam in the game. Unfortunately, we're not going to be holding on to it for very long. Why? Because we need the ice beam in order to get past the last area of the game. Tour. So how do we get the ice beam back? We can actually, you can actually revisit any room that had the ice beam in it and switch back out with it. That's yeah. kind of, I'm glad they didn't do away with that system yeah, because they, it's fucking they, tarted. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It's that I really don't like how the wave beam looks. Wait, it's fucking tarted. Yeah. It's fucking tarted. It's not even worth the re. <laughs> <laughs> Retarded would apply. It did it twice. This is just plain fucking tarted. <laughs> <laughs> so Metroid Two. <laughs> re Metroid. <laughs> no, 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 no. Metroid Two does it again. So that's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when so when Samus looks at her crotch repeatedly. Jesus. We've Christ. already been through this. We Matt. went through that. Oh, wow, seriously. Um. Matt. You think she'd look at? She gets bored enough. She, Matt, she, she yeah. Going somewhere with this dude. She's, somewhere. She's licking the cod piece. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That's a good point. She's always in this suit. Ever get a little tired of the vagina jokes? No. <laughs> you don't. Of course, Matt doesn't. Nope. Gordon, you. Every female also suffers from itchy ditches. You don't think they get a little? Tired no. Of what? A while. Wait, what? Tron suffered from the itchy ditches, and that was obvious. You say you, every female that has an attitude problem, you say has itchy ditches. Pretty yeah. much. Oh, don't you get, an, get a little tired of wait, that? Wait, wait. What is that? What's the tea dishes? <laughs> when a woman doesn't get laid in a while, she develops cobwebs and a huge she gets attitude sexually problem. Sexually aggravated. Uh, Not sexually aggravated, just plain aggravated. Is, is there a difference? If it's plain aggravated, then you shouldn't say itchy ditches. <laughs> you say itchy ditches because she's sexually aggravated. Huh. Well, I never even heard of that term. Congratulations, Elliot. Welcome to 18. She's 17. <laughs> well, you got a first taste of 18. I've been watching porn since I was 12. <laughs> Seriously? Better than, mm, worse than me, I can start tall as 14. Anyway, back anyway, to that. Uh, back, <laughs> back to Metroid. Look at that barrier suit. <laughs> okay. Back in the hole of the 8 ball. 8 ball, 3 ball. Okay, the, we can't call oh. these uh, Greek olives. Uh, no. They're different. I like what Elliot said. 8 ball, 3 uh, balls. Uh, plums. Plums. 
Plums. Plums are purple. I wouldn't say plums. Yeah, these, these are purple, man. No, no, I, I wouldn't say plums. Oh, what would you say? I still agree with Elliot. Either eight balls or those deformed little monsters from Dig Dug. No, they, come on, they're plums. No, I, I, I say eight balls. Hey, you, you gotta see the plum. Look, you can see the fruit and you can see the core. Yeah, but... Yeah, no, I see teacups. Okay, now that's a bit of a stretch. No, I see teacups in the middle. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> we're at the final part of the Metroid playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, now John, we're you, in You didn't even Ridley. move the mouse. Oh, god damn it! I should have moved the mouse. Yes, now, because it gets distracted. And, and now the, the, the play meter is kind of... Covering up one eighteenth of the screen. Well, it's distracting. Now I can never see Metroid again. <laughs> John, it's distracting, man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're at Ridley. This uh, this place has Trick Force too, but you know. Well, where where does purple things then? Uh, bats. Meta Metanites. Meta Metanites. Metanites. Fuck, I'm on up. They're they're from Lancaster. What? <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> Amish Metanites. <laughs> Amish Metanites. <laughs> Hey, you ever heard of that? No, no, wait, that's Meta Knight. Uh, no, 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 I'm talking about Meta Knight. Kirby had me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's more than one Meta Knight. No, 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 Meta, no Kirby had me as Meta Knight. Meta Knight is another. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, you know why you're getting molested by a giant flaming plum? <laughs> ah, I'll be fine. I got the screw attack and I got more it's a, it's a, it's a firecrack spinner. Hmm. Firecrack or spinner? Whatever! <laughs> firecrack spinner sounds like a Street Fighter move. <laughs> Cammy's new move is Street, is Street Fighter Ultimate Final Fight 4. <laughs> you know what else is a long hallway? What's up? The stairs that you climb in Silent Hill Downpour. You're in the other world. You keep on going up and up and up until you realize. And <laughs> then oh, Bowser tells you you need 60 more power stars. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You keep going up and up until you realize, oh, you have to go downstairs just a few steps. That's when you go. Okay, okay. I believe that is the final missile expansion of the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. So all we gotta do now is beat Ridley and we'll get the other 75 missiles. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, here's something. He looks like he looks like a xenomorph from aliens just with wings. And eyes. The head shape is similar, yeah. I the head shape is goofy. And the tail, and the tail. Boy am I glad they yeah. the 60 bits make him look more intimidating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. This is the thing that killed Samus' parents? Yes. Yeah. Is this is the thing that gave Samus a breakdown in another M? It sucks. I don't really use annotations unless I need to make a last minute uh, edit, like saying, uh, uh, I didn't mean that, I meant this. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know everything, John. No, you don't. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, we know. Explain to me the process of editing a video. You, you put the video onto your computer. <laughs> you, 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 sh you sprinkle magic. Wait, let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. You put the footage that you got. You have all the footage you put up at Adobe from here, and you you edit. When the mommy when the mommy <laughs> video, <laughs> hey, what's up? You uh, edit. <laughs> <laughs> right click edit. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like it, so it's a recycle bit. Record over. <laughs> but uh, that's yeah, actually as Lewis said it best in the Sonic Adventure commentary. When a mommy video meets a daddy video editing pro program, they fuck wildly, and an edited video is made. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're going to get, like, the same 10 views from the You'd same part. You'd be surprised the <laughs> amount of research and dedication I put to an LP just for the sake of completing it. This is the man who once vowed to do Bubsy 3D. <laughs> I did Superman 64. Yeah, for, for a review. For a review. Yeah, I had to play the game to, be, to review it. Yeah but, we, yeah, but you never said we could do an LP? Who said, I, who said no? You? No, I didn't. <laughs> You're just lying out of your ass now. You're right, I am lying out of my ass. <laughs> Great. Okay, he, he's Frank Morgan now. What? Frank Morgan. Yeah, I'm not the Punisher. Oh, that's Castle. He, he's lying out his ass, remember? <laughs> Saying he was at the rail yard. Yep. Wait, that wasn't around the 1940s? <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> yeah, I think I was still a seat in my dad's sack. My grandfather's not sack. <laughs> now my dad was born 1940-something. So, you were already a seed in your adolescent yeah. father? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Seedception. Seedception. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is my nuts and his nuts. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, Matt Damon's in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Written by Christopher Nolan. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Nolan's seed. <laughs> so, the Torian is actually located not too far from where we initially started. Really? Uh, you mean like how the uh, gate in Metroid did the same thing? A uh, Super Metroid? 
Yeah. Oh, don't tell me yeah. it's the elevator we came in from. No, no. That would be some shit. As thus, Samus realizes that she was Torian. <laughs> Metroid, the story of the world's biggest U-turn. <laughs> Johnny. And then Samus looks at herself and realized she was Torian. <laughs> <laughs> and then the real, and then that's when the writers, just, and that's when they, the staff decided to fire Vincent Russo. <laughs> who is Vincent Russo? It's the man who single-handedly comes up with the goofiest fucking angles in wrestling. He's not even the writing team. <laughs> Wait for what? Read the downfall of WCW. He, yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't he the one that wrote all the angles in WCW? Yeah, and some for TNA, which all of which were. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Wrestling could be written. Wrestling, Elliot. I don't. I hate to break this to you, <laughs> but wrestling's fake. Don't yeah, no shit, that time, no shit. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Mother Brain is defeated, but we need to get out of here. God and damn it, tiny come. platforms. Can you, can, you imagine, can you imagine this? If Mother Brain were to have an aneurysm, you see just blood around the glass. Uh, it would probably be very sudden, actually. Yes. It wouldn't even know when it's coming. Exactly. It's just like. Yeah. It actually wouldn't be a very impressive explosion. It just burst. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. But if we you fulfill your mission, we'll revive peace in space. But it may be invaded by the other Metroid. The Pray other for Metroid. a true peace in space. Oh! Look at my tiny kneecaps. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! She's black. Oh. This has to be a really good surprise to a lot of gamers Boobies! back then. <laughs> Redhead! So uh, Brownhead. Wait, Redhead. Uh, how is she breathing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Chozo Blood. Yeah, Chozo Blood. Chozo, okay, <laughs> that's, <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Hip Tanaka. New Matsuoka Shikamoto. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hip Tanaka. I guess he was a pretty hip guy. Ayukami. I could have been a poor name in Japan. Hayukami. Hayukami! <laughs> GPC Sengoku? 